हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ दीपिका प्रजापति फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट इन अवर टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज कंटिन्यू एज अ लूप सो डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट लूप कंसेप्ट इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क एंड बेजिक्स ऑफ वी बी डॉट नेट सो लेट स्टार्ट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ लूप एंड प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट द लूप कंसेप्ट फर्स्ट एज अ डू लूप देन इट्स फ्लो चार्ट इट्स डिस्क्रिप्शन then the syntax for the do loop it means do while loop then next the example of do while loop here one is it is output from this program then second loop is for next loop here one is the flow chart about for next loop then here one is a syntax for this loop here one is the example about for next loop and this is the output so in a previous video lecture we have already seen about do while loop and second loop concept as a for next loop now let's start the third concept as a loop is for each next loop so how to use for each next loop in a vb.net it means visual basic .net programming language and how it perform with a practically program code so for each next loop is nothing but it repeats a group of statement for each element in a collection and this loop is used for accessing and manipulating all elements in array of otherwise vb.net collection uh, it means that it is uh, used for accessing manipulating all elements in array of data or a vb.net collection here one is the syntax about for each next loop so first of all you have to write for each element as a data type in a group then second one is a statements then continue for then statements then exit for then write down once again statement next and here one is a element the element is nothing but declaring a variable and here one is each element is also declaring as a variable then given as a data type in a group so here this is our syntax about use of for each next loop once again what is for each next loop and how it work so it repeats group of statement for each element in a collection and this loop is used for accessing and manipulating all the elements in array or a vb.net collection okay next here one the example of using for each next loop so first of all here whenever we use declaring a variable using dim keyword this all declaring a variable in sub main function so this sub main function is a similar similarly like uh, using the void main function in a c language so jare pan tumhe c language no use karta tha tyare tumhe void main function no use karta tha evi j rite ahiya visual basic dot net ma jevi rite tumhe c language ma void main function use karyu chhe e rite ahiya kayu function use karvanu chhe sub main function okay पची जी रीते तब सी लैंग्वेजनी अंदर वेरिएबल डिक्लेर करता पेला एनी डेटा टाइप फाइंड आउट करता था और एना पी डेटा टाइप आप वेरिएबल डिक्लेर करता एनी वेल्यू आपता था सेम लाइक एज रीते अँ वेरिएबल डिक्लेर करवा है बट अँ वेरिएबल डिक्लेर करता पेला क्यों कीवर्ड यूज करवा है डीम कीवर्ड सो अँ मैं डीम कीवर्ड थी बे वेरिएबल ने यूज कर डेटा टाइप आपी है तो अँ जे मैं फेलो वेरिएबल यूज करो ये एज अ फंक्शन तरीके से सो डीम एन एरे एज अ इंटीजर एट एरे आप फंक्शन यूज करूँ है एनी वेल्यू अँ रिप्रेजेंट करी है एंड देन हियर द डीम एरे आइटम एज अ इंटीजर सो हियर वन एरे आइटम इज नथिंग बट अवर वेरिएबल डेटा टाइप विज सो डिस्प्लेइंग द वेल्यूज फॉर ईच एरे आइटम इन द एरे सो हियर वन वेन एवर दीस वेल्यू प्रिंटेड Uh, printed after and it so at a run time then we used console dot write line function 
so this function is same like working as a printf function so here the console dot write line bound the array item and this array item display all the data elements from this n array function okay so next console dot read line so here one console dot read line is nothing but it is the same working like get ch it means get character function of the c language so in a c language whenever you used get ch function uh, so it given a output at a runtime hold the screen so same like the console dot read line is nothing but given output at a runtime hold the screen for the using console dot read line function okay so and sub and then and mod module so here one is the example of our for each next loop so for each next loop is a very most mp concept for the gtu exam and this question again and again asked in gtu exam having a three marks either four marks so dear all student you all learn with b concentration so here one is the example about for each next loop so once again how to use for each next loop in a vb.net language so here one is our practically program code so first of all you have to define a function as a sub main then you have to give a array function with its value then once again de declare a variable then here one is the bound this variable with a console did write line function and then next and console dot read line and sub and module so what is the output from this program so see here this is our output so when the above code is compiled and execute it produce the following result 1 3 5 7 and 9 so here this is our programming code and here one it is output of this program okay so this concept is about for each next loop next while and while loop this is a very 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 most IMP concept for the university exam while loop so how it work in our programmically language for the visual basic dot net so in execute a series of statement as long as a given condition is true when the condition is tested and the result is false the loop body will be skipped and the first statement after the while loop will be executed so here one the flow chart about while loop so first of all given as a condition if your condition code is true so your condition statement will be executed if your condition will be false then it terminated okay so this is the concept about while loop and the flowchart of this while loop next how to use while loop in a vb.net so here one is the syntax for this while loop so use the first of all keyword while then given a condition then statement continue while statement exit while statement end while so while is exit statement of control loop okay so the syntax for this while loop is first of all whenever you used while loop in a vb.net programming code then you have to first of all declare a while keyword then given a condition then given a statements then continue while statements exit while statements and last one is end while okay here one is the example about while loop so here uh, first of all you have to declare any one variable with its data type and initialize the variable initialize with which, which is nothing but given a value at a time it's known as a initialization variable so here one given a a as a variable its data type is integer and its value is a 10 so this is our variable declaration with initialization okay then use the keyword while and given the condition so here the given condition is a less than 20 so here the console dot right line is given as the value of a starting 0 here one is called the variable a as well as bound the variable a a is equals to a plus 1 and while it means here our loop will be started from 0 and 
sorry our loop will be started from given a value as a, a so a value given as a 10 and then 10 plus 1 11 11 plus 1 12 12 plus 1 13 13 plus 1 14 up to 20 why because here the condition is a less than 20 it means 10 less than 20 so let's start the value from 10 then increment by 1 up to 20 and then end while console dot read line end sub end module okay so this is our example of using while loop so how to practically perform this program so dear all student don't worry whenever our practical session start i will be perform this all control loop in a vb.net using visual studio software so this all loop control statement i clearly perform in a visual studio software and at the rec chitla pan practically performance che hu tamne live practical ma batais etle tamaro concept ekdam clear thai jase okay so what is the output from this program so here one is the output of this program so let's start the 10 then 10 plus 1 11 then 11 plus 1 12 12 plus 1 13 13 plus 1 14 14 plus 1 15 15 plus 1 16 16 plus 1 17 17 plus 1 18 18 plus 1 19 so this is our the compile and execute of the program and it produce the following result so this concept is our while loop concept so in this lecture we have already seen about once again first of all as a for each next loop so this is a description about for each next loop here one is the syntax of for each next loop here one is the example of for each next loop and this is our result it means the output of this program about for each next loop then next while and while loop so this is a description about while and while loop here one is the flowchart of while and while loop this is the syntax for this while while loop then next here one is the example of this while loop and this is our output of the do while loop sorry while loop concept program okay thank you i hope dear all student you all easily understand about the control loop statement concept from this ppt video lecture if anyone have a doubt then please comment on google classroom thank you